What is up, lady boys? Welcome back to Mass Boys. Anyways, we're recording this on the new tripod, and uh, in front of me, we got the newest bike. So, this is Lucifer. It's a 2002 CRF450R, and uh, it's our next build. I'm gonna get. In, I'm gonna go into depth with a few things that already it needs and what we have in mind for this build. So, first off, we're gonna start over here at the front. We're obviously we're gonna update the front end, but we're gonna do all white plastics up here at the front, and then the back half, fairings back. That's gonna that's gonna stay all black. We may actually go with the restyle kit that they do make for this bike, which I was actually really surprised that they made a restyle kit for this bike. But hey, works for me, right? Um, we're gonna get some custom black graphics, you know, the whole the whole nine yards, and she should be good to go. A couple of things that is wrong with this bike is on both of these cases, it, um, they're cracked and JV welded. As you'll see in the next clip, it does run and everything, but yeah, better state of mind to have those sticks and everything. Uh, these bars, grips, levers, you know, the whole nine yards, it's really just gonna be a good teardown, a fun uh, budget build. And yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with it. Through the door. So we're here, uh, we got the bike in the back. We just picked it up out of Springfield. Uh, 1200 bucks, it's a 2002 uh, CRF450R. And uh, once we get home, I'm just gonna do a little bit more of an in-depth kind of run through of it. And uh, I'll show you what I have in mind for this one. FMF exhaust, it's got the slip on in the Vega Bomb header. Um, yeah, so this will be our next build. This is loose for the dirt bike. <laughs> Guys, you missed the nasty wheel. Oh, right, so, yeah. So, uh, one thing about this is no rear brakes yet. Uh, we have the caliper, I don't know why it was off. Pedaling anything, but we don't have the master cylinder. If we have one off of the CR, we're gonna rebuild though. <laughs> Nothing. Freaking cocks, dude. Oh, these are like these. We got this apart and uh, can't really see it on camera, but there's quite a bit of carbon on the top of the head. I want to do a leak down test on the valves right now and readjust the lash and everything. Dinner time, so we'll be right back. 
Got the head taken off. The king exposed. Get you. Get the paint off this uh, brick wiper. important information in regards to the CRF 450. So, uh, it at least needs valves. Um, it may need a head rebuild, but we're thinking it might not. At first we thought it's gonna need a full engine rebuild, but now that we took off the uh, head, I'm sorry, not the head, the cylinder and the head, no play in the piston whatsoever, like up and down. The left and right is normal, but nothing up and down. She's mint on the top and bottom end. We are going to check the transmission bearings while we're at it because we got to take off the cases anyways because it needs some cases because they came cracked. But yeah, it's actually in like immaculate condition. Like this one's brand new. I don't think it has an hour on it. Yeah, that's, that's all I have to say. Here's the piston, well, 450 action. So you see, it moves side to side, but there's no plate up and down, right? 
So that means that's telling me that the big end bearing is just in great condition. I mean, that's telling me it's a brand new crank at least. You now you got your valves and everything, exhaust, exhaust, intake, intake. You can tell where the shims were. Um, here we got our cam. We're a little spinny boy on here, you know. What I'd like to do personally, if this was my bike, I'd throw a I, I'd throw a stage two hot cam in it and a high compression piston, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's got a brand new cylinder on it, as you can see. Athena, you know. I mean, the honing is still in, like, immaculate condition, as I said. So, uh, it's looking a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, next, I'm going to show you some ideas on what I have in mind for this bike. All right, so, to the right, right, left for you, um... We have what I have in mind for the motor. So we're gonna we're gonna clean this up obviously. Paint the cases like we did on the KX. I'll throw up a picture of the KX. Um and then maybe not the same exact color on the on the valve cover and side cases, but something along the lines of that kind of clean. Next I'm gonna show you guys what I have in mind for the graphics option right there so what i'm thinking for the graphics is you know obviously we're gonna have i'm thinking like kind of have it red and fade in the black but you know not too much red so uh we're gonna have my stepmom she's gonna actually make up some front fender decals that say lucifer and cursive because obviously that's the bike's name because she is the uh, child of Satan. She is one hell of a machine. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take you guys over here to the parts list. So, she needs linkage bearings. I really just want a bolt kit for this bike. Because it drives me crazy. Story time. So, when I was taking off the side number plates. One bolt was a 12. One was an 8. Then on the other side, there was an Allen head bolt, and then a 14. Like, come on, you could have made an effort. And, uh, it needs a rear master cylinder. I think we have one downstairs from the CR that we can just rebuild for eight bucks, but it's 15 for a new one, so you might as well. Uh, brake lines, side cases, rear shock rebuild kit, because, uh, yeah, she is shot. I mean, she is, she's shot. I tell you that much. Uh, she definitely needs levers, cause both the levers are snapped on here, and that is fucking collapsed. <laughs> um. So yeah, I need bars, cause there's like some cheap, cheesy MSR bars on there or whatever. Uh, front number plate and fender. We might actually either we're gonna start. We're obviously we're gonna update the front end on this, but we might start in white or red and fade back into black. I'm not really sure yet. All right, so um, it needs a quick adjust air screw. It just makes it that much easier when you're tuning. Graphics, rear fender, cause this one's got the street kit on it. So you're gonna have all these rivet holes in here and stuff like that. Uh, it needs tires, cause I mean, I think you guys can just look at this and tell they are shot like look at that there's not even like knob left there you know so and the front tire is pretty cute you might as well while you're at it kickstart rebuild i'll show you why oh sh nikes yeah so i mean that is looser than your mom all right it's like a punch lasagna up in that bitch all right all right So, grips, <laughs> I don't even have to say anything about this, I mean, but they're, they're shot. Instant clut clutch cover, uh, it does need side cases, they're all cracked and shit and yeah. Alright, uh, gold chain. Cause that red chain is not doing it for me whatsoever. I am in charge of making it look pretty. So, um, it needs brake on clamp. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, definitely needs a brake arm clamp. On the uh, on the rear swing arm needs a brake arm, uh, brake arm, brake line clamp. Uh, need, we're gonna do a bling kit. We're gonna do the red anodized bling kit. Um, it may or may not even need a head rebuild. We know it at least needs valves. Um, so we're gonna come over here. So as you see, as you saw earlier in the video, I took all that time. Does that dog have a snake? Anyways, I have ADHD or something. So as you saw earlier in the video, I took all this time making this all nice and pretty. When in turn, we're gonna paint it black. We're gonna paint it. We're gonna powder coat it black and or Cerakote. Because it's really just, I think it would look good on here. Once again, I'm in charge of making it look pretty. So that's where I'm at on this. Um, yep, so right here, you know how it's got that little like clamp over or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's missing that. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this rear subframe here. Because uh, we're just going to gut the whole thing. Tear it down to the frame, clean the frame, everything. It's... It's gonna be pretty in depth. It's gonna be a repeat of the KX. I really hope it doesn't take as long as the KX did though. Anyways, uh, time lapse time. It's off. <laughs> so we got the subframe off. Did have to do a little uh, custom electrical work here because uh, the guy put the street legal kit on it. Whatever. Don't really give a flying. Uh, I can't say that. But yeah. <laughs> so just kind of took the dikes and cut that off. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. So yeah, now that we got the uh, subframe off. So yes, this isn't Hacks 2020. It's off. Actually, I forgot to mention this, folks. But you can put the CR slash... Well, CR 125 slash 250 restyle kit on this bike. And I think we're going to do that. There's so much more options for graphics and everything. And... It's going to look amazing. So, that's what we're going to do. Anyways, if you did happen to like this video, feel free to like, subscribe, Instagram right here. And if you'd like to see more content like this, let me know in the comment section about, down below. And that's all for today's video.